Coach, the first third of your season is complete, and the team stands at four and five overall, and two and four in the NE10. Got off to a rough start, losing five of your first six, uh, but bounced back, winning three straight. How do you guys? How do you feel about the team's performance throughout the season so far? Yeah, I, I, we struggled early. We struggled to defend early. I think uh, we recovered nicely here these last three games. Uh, we also had a tough stretch. We had our first four league games on the road, which was a big challenge. And last year we were a very good road team. Won eight of our 15 games on the road. Um, but that's something we're going to have to correct. And obviously to be a team um, uh, that's going to compete uh, for playoff spots, you've got to win on the road uh, during your season. What do you think has contributed to the recent success in the last three games, really off to a, a nice start here? Yeah, you know, Justin's really shot the ball well. I think he's one of the leaders in the, in the league and in the country in three-point shooting. He's making over three threes a game at 48%. Uh, Eric Anderson's had a great year thus far. He's got five double-doubles. Uh, has really been a great uh, presence on the glass and has really provided a lot of scoring, which he's improved upon since last year. Uh, and then more recently, we've had Mark Palmieri come off the bench and give us good minutes, Joshua Gademi come off the bench and give us good minutes, and uh, Ashanti to pass. Um, so the development of our bench is going to be uh, huge towards the uh, stretch run here. But, um, you know, I think we've been much more consistent here as a team over the last uh, three, four games. All right, on January 5th, you guys close out your uh, divisional play against any 10 teams uh, against Pace. Uh, what have you learned to kind of the first stretch through the, the f that half of the division that you think you can use coming down the stretch in February? Yeah, I, I think most teams in college basketball right now are trying to find what they can do better, and then they're trying to evaluate maybe there's some things that you can't improve on. I think we're doing that same thing. Um, some of the things we've done really well thus far, we're the best team in the league at taking care of the ball, and we're only averaging about 12.1 turnovers a game. We're one of the best teams in the league in free throw shooting. Um, I think if we're going to improve, we do have to get to the free throw line more. Uh, I do think we have to make a higher percentage of shots, which hopefully that will come. Um, and then, you know, we have done a great job on the defensive glass, um, and I think our defense has improved. So uh, it's, it's, this is a very difficult league, very well coached league, uh, very even as far as talent level, I believe. Uh, and it really comes down to uh, last four minutes, just like last year. Four minute games, um, you got to close out games, you got to make shots, get key stops. Uh, we've struggled that early in the season. Hopefully that's something that we can improve upon, uh, especially when we get more home games as well. I think that'll be something that we can um, improve upon. You've mentioned a few names or, uh, just recently, but uh, through the first portion of your schedule, uh, really evenly spread uh, across the scoring numbers. Right. Four guys averaging double figures. It seems like any, any night anybody can turn it on. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what do you think contributes to that spread across the, across the way? Well, you know what? The, the guys who are scoring points right now, you know, Jeff Atkins and Justin Exxon are both juniors. They've played a lot of minutes since they've been here at the University of New Haven. Jeremy Williams is a senior, has played a lot of minutes over the last two years. Eric Anderson has improved. You know, he was, uh, you know, right at 10 points a game almost last year, and he's improved. So we have older guys who have been playing a lot of basketball here at the University of New Haven, and, um, you know, they, they're very comfortable with each other. Uh, I think they know where they're going to be in certain spots on the floor. Um, and just, you know, I, I think we have uh, guys who matured as offensive players, and obviously that's shown in their statistics where, you know, they're double-figure scorers. You mentioned his name, Eric Anderson, uh, I think off to a great sophomore season so far, averaging double-double and five double-doubles so far this right. season. Uh, Eric's obviously a tough matchup for any opposing team. Uh, what is it about his game that you think, you know, kind of sets him apart? Yeah, he's a very intelligent player, so he's a good thinker on the floor. Um, you know, we can put him in multiple spots and he, we don't miss a beat. You know, play him at the four and the five. We could even play him at the three at times. Um, but, you know, he can post up. Um, he can pass. He can dribble. Uh, he hasn't shot the ball well from distance this year, but I think that will improve as the year goes on. I think he's only one from ten right now. Um, but, you know, he's just a tough cover because he can do a lot of different things. He's very versatile. Uh, he can cut. He can pass. He can dribble. Um, but the one thing he's doing really well this year that he's improved upon is he's really scoring in the paint much more efficiently and um, you know he's got good length good size and he's much more comfortable around the paint right now and it's uh, obviously showing up with the stats. Uh, how about uh, your starting senior Jeremy Williams uh, he's also off to a great start scoring 20 points in three games uh, what do you think's helped Jeremy kind of get over the top this year in his senior season? Yeah he's a senior you know I think when you become a senior there's a little bit more urgency I think he came back this year in great shape with a great focus um, he's really been a great leader for us and I think in doing that, he's really helped himself. But, um, you know, he's always been a really consistent player for us since I've been here. Uh, you know, he led the league in minutes his sophomore year. So he's someone that's played a lot of minutes. He's very uh, comfortable with the college game. And it's nice to see him, you know, get to the rim a little bit more and score more efficiently in the paint. 
and obviously he's a very good uh, threat from long range as well. But you know, it's uh, a lot of hard work that he's put in to get where he is, and nice to see him, um, you know, do well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the rest of the roster. Uh, you mentioned a, a couple couple names earlier, but uh, who do you think made improvements through the first portion of the schedule, and uh, who do you think we'll expect to hear named down, down the stretch a little bit yeah, more? I think Josh Gademi's really improved since he's been here, and he's really an intelligent player. He's got a great feel for the game. I think he's still trying to find his way with the speed and the physicality of the college game, but he's gotten more minutes as we've uh, you know been deeper into the season. Um, he's been really great on the boards these last three games. And uh, as he gets more comfortable, you know, I, I do think he's going to play a larger role. Um, and we really do need that role to improve. Um, and then Mark Palmieri has really done a great job off the bench. Mark is uh, you know, maybe our hardest worker, um, but he's really done a great job coming in, taking care of the ball, playing great defensively, um, making open shots. So Mark's done a great job as well. And Mark, it's great to see Mark's improvement over the last two years and great to see him as a captain, as a senior, have success this year. All right, Coach, on to the next. Ten-day break, uh, maybe a basketball coach's biggest nightmare, <laughs> maybe a basketball coach's biggest dream. Right. Uh, how do you continue to let three straight games? Obviously, you open, uh, you, you finished 2012, I guess, with a, right. your last non-conference game, and then right back to the any 10 schedule. So how do you keep that momentum rolling? Yeah, I think it really falls on our players. So they're on their own for seven days. I think, um, you know, the better players in the college level, when they're uh, faced with the situation, they're, determined and committed to improving their game, whether it's uh, maintaining, being in shape, shooting a lot, getting in their high school gym, whatever it might be. Um, but, you know, we've had a three, uh, three wins in a row, positive momentum moving forward. I think they'll be chomping at the bit to get back when we get back here on the 27th. And then uh, we have one, one game on the road in Malloy and then back in uh, any 10 play. But, um, you know, we'll look at some film, see where we can improve, um, do some things differently. So it gives us all a chance to kind of step back and evaluate how we move forward and how we can improve, which, uh, you know, sometimes can be a good thing. All right, Coach, appreciate your time, and uh, good luck. Talk to you soon. Thank you.